Now today I want to do the um, uh, um, a bit of a say on the um, on the braking system for the Austin 7, which is a constant problem for most people. Now the, the thing is this: that the, the the cross shaft, which you can see in this picture, is normally on the early cars. It's a single tube which runs from side to side of the car, and the problem with that is that when you put your foot on the foot brake it exerts so much pressure that it twists the bar by about 15 or 20 degrees. So there's absolutely no way you can get both back brakes to work together. Now, the way that Austin solved the problem is very simple, really. They put a bigger tube on the outside of the um, cross shaft and then pinned it in the middle with a, with a, 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 a bar through the middle. So, that, so all the torque is taken in the middle of the tube and so the uh, the twisting motion is the same on both sides now the only way you can do this is to you have to fit a later type um, anchorage on the chassis here to take the uh, the bigger size of tube and then you have to have also the front and rear cross member with the bush in the middle so that it can hold it all together and those have to be riveted to the cross member at the front here and what we do is we put a vertical in the front as well because normally they just have the two rivets top and bottom and they come apart and and, and then it doesn't work very well so so that's what you have to do you have to have this extra bigger tube on the outside and pin it in the middle so that the twisting on the shaft is the same at both sides so that gives you a rough idea of how to solve the problem with the rear brakes. Okay, that'll do for the moment.